Okay, when we do more complicated calculations with decimals, we still have to obey the order of operations in exactly the same way we did for whole numbers. So remember once we um, introduced exponents, we changed bod mass to bed mass. And what does bed mass stand for? Bed mass tells us first we deal with brackets, then exponents. After that, division and multiplication, and these are on the same level, so you don't do one before the other. Division and multiplication, if they're the only things in the calculation, you just go from left to right in the calculation. And then after you've dealt with division and multiplication, you do addition and subtraction. And again, these are on the same level. So if you've just got addition and subtraction in your calculation, you just move with the calculation from left to right. But the best way to obviously try this out is to do some examples. So let's have a look at an example like, say we had a 0, oh, I need a pen, 0, 6, and I'm going to uh, subtract 0, 2 multiplied by 2. Okay, so no brackets, no exponents, but I do have the division multiplication. I've got multiplication, so I have got to do that multiplication before I do the subtraction. How do I do multiplication with decimals? You should be very good at this by now. I ignore the comma, so I cheat once to ignore the comma, and I say two times, two, which is four, but because I've cheated once, I must make up for it once when I get the answer, and so my comma is going to go back in there, right? And then I need to do the subtraction, and so I'm going to work out what 0, 6 minus 0, 4. I'm going to get the answer of 0, 2. All right, nice and easy. How would it be different? How would the calculation be different if I would given you the same numbers, but instead... done this. Pause the video now and quickly work out this calculation for yourself and we'll go over it. Write it in your homework books. Okay, hopefully this was nice and easy for you too. In this case, we do have brackets and so the brackets are the first thing I must do. What's 0, 6 minus 0, 2? The answer here is 0, 4 and then that needs to be multiplied by 2. And so what can I do? I can say 4 times 2, that gives me an answer of 8. But I had then one place over the decimal comma that I cheated, so I've got to take one place back and put the comma in over here. And so I get an answer of 0, comma 8. So you can see even with the same numbers and the same calculations, the fact you've put brackets in changes the order in which you do things, changes the answer you get. Okay, last quick example. Say we had to do 0, 3 minus 0, 2 plus 0, 1. Now here the only operations we've got are addition and subtraction. And have a look here in your bed mass, right? Addition and subtraction are on the same level. So it isn't one that comes before the other. And so the rule for that is you simply work from left to right. So we're going to first do what is 0, 3 minus 0, 2. And you get the answer there of 0, 1. And then you have to add on to that a 0, 1, right? And so you will get your answer of 0, 2. Okay, how about one final one for you to try? Uh, 5 times 0, 4 divided by 0, 2. Pause your video now, quickly do it in your homework books, and then we can go over it. Okay, so you noticed we've only got multiplication and division, and you see that those are on exactly the same level in your bed mass. And so all you do then is operate by going from left to right. So the first thing you need to do is you need to say, what's 5 times 0, 4? All right, we know how to do multiplication. We ignore the comma and we say 5 times 4. That gives me 20 as my answer. But I cheated once in getting rid of the comma, so I must put it back in, and so I'll get 2 comma 0. And 2 comma 0, hopefully everybody knows, it's just 2. We've still got to do the division, we've got to divide by 0 comma 2. So what we've got is we've got 2 over 0 comma 2. So now I want to do that division. Remember when we're trying to do division with decimals, we get rid of the 
commas at the bottom. How are we going to do that? Well, here we're going to multiply the bottom by 10. But if we've multiplied the bottom by 10, we must multiply the top by 10 to keep them the same. So we'll get 20 over 2. So 20 over 2, that is just 10 is the answer. So our answer for this, 2 divided by 0, 2 is going to give me an answer of 10.